Canva is quickly becoming my favorite do-it-all software. Today, we're gonna be going over some secret tools that'll take hours of work and turn it into just minutes. Before we jump in, here are the differences between the Canva free version and the pro version. Canva Pro is $15 a month or $120 a year, and in my opinion, completely worth it. They do have a 30-day free trial if you're hoping to test some of these features out ahead of time. Let's start with Magic Design. When starting a new project and creating anything you can imagine, you can just type in a couple of keywords of what you're looking for. Canva is going to sort through thousands of templates and give you a bunch of options to choose from. Since I'm currently working on a website, let's create a newsletter sign up form. To use Magic Design, just make sure you see this magnifying glass with the two stars above it. If you don't see that, go ahead and click on Magic Studio. And then at the top, you should have the search bar here with the magnifying glass with the two stars. So it's going to say use five plus words to describe your design. And in our case, we're gonna use newsletter sign up for website. Perfect. So you can see I now have all of these different options which I could directly implement into my website. And the cool thing about this is that we can click on any of these and customize them, preview them. You can even translate them. So we're gonna customize the template. And this is looking pretty good. The only thing I notice is that it's not quite big enough to fit my website. And this brings us to the next feature, which is resize and magic switch. So all I have to do is go up to the top left here where it says resize and magic switch, and I can resize this page to fit a website. So we'll click continue and we're going to resize this design. So in one click, we change the document size or aspect ratio of our design and it automatically changed our text, image, and everything within our design to fit that new aspect ratio. The only thing that looks a little funky now is this keep updated doesn't really uh, fit up there at the top right anymore. So I'm just gonna change this a bit to fit right around our computer screen. Perfect. So we were just using basic resize the magic switch feature allows you to use ai to repurpose the content of your current design and change it into other document types with auto generated formatting and auto generated text to give you an example all i have in this design is a picture of the resize and magic switch feature and then a short description of what it does and what we can do with this is click resize and magic switch transform into doc and from here we can make a blog post out of just that picture and the text that we have and what that's going to do is generate us a formatted blog post with additional auto generated text so if we click open doc we now have an entire blog post about this feature Moving on to the next few features, let's go ahead and make a new design. And we're gonna do a custom size, and for YouTube to fit, we're gonna do 16 by nine. And in here, we're gonna paste a picture of me. If I click on the picture and click edit image on the top left here, we get the entire suite of Magic Studio tools. The first one is BG Remover or Background Remover. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite tool. I use it most often. Just by clicking the background remover, it's going to completely eliminate everything else in the picture besides the outline of my body. I use this all the time when grabbing images from online as well, because every image that you grab normally has a white background. So if you were to paste that image, like the Canva logo, there's this white background behind it. So in two clicks, you can completely remove the background of the image and have something like this. Moving back to our original image, the second tool is Magic Eraser. And what this allows you to do is paint any imperfections and have Canva remove them for you. So if we click on Magic Eraser, notice how on the right side of our picture, there's a sign that's kind of creeping in to the image. So what we can do is either paintbrush it or just click on the thing that we want removed 
Canva will highlight it and then you can erase it. Perfect. To give you one more example, in this image, we have a girl sitting on the beach with a random laptop sitting next to her. So we can edit this image, click magic eraser, click on the click and highlight the computer and take it away from the photo. Awesome. The next feature is called magic grab. It allows you to pick objects from your image. In this case, we're going to make the object me. And once we grab it, Canva allows us to treat that object as a separate editable image. So you'll notice I now have resize options around me. And the cool thing about this is we can completely move me to the left, to the right side of the image. If I wanted to make myself tiny, I could. If I wanted to make myself huge, I could do that as well. Wow. And the other cool thing here is it's now treating the object of me and the background of the image as separate things. So say that you, if you wanted to add a blur to the background, um, you could just do that to the whole image. Go back and now we have a blurred out background and my body is not. The next feature is called grab text. And what this does is it lets you pick text out of a still picture and edit it. So when we go in here, it's gonna have us highlight the text that we wanna change. So we'll go ahead and grab it. And then Canva is gonna find a font as close as possible to the font in the original image and allow you to edit the text. So we're gonna change Canva to Trevor. While we're on the topic of text, Canva now has the ability to generate text for you or change it however you prefer. So it's called Magic Write, and whenever you have a text block created within Canva, so for example, if we just made a body text over here, let's change the color to black and we'll move it so it's a little bit more legible. We can use Magic Write to put a custom prompt in and say, write a story about Canva. Perfect. In addition to that, you can shorten your text. You could make it more fun, more formal, and you can actually upload examples of your text so that you can kind of create your own voice within Canva. That way, when you generate text moving forward, you can use your voice with the AI generation. This next one is pretty crazy. It's called Magic Edit, and what it allows you to do is highlight any area of your image and change that to whatever you want. In this picture, you can see I'm holding the Rabbit R1. I'm gonna highlight that, and then I'm actually gonna come in with the brush afterwards and make sure the entire outline of the rabbit is also highlighted. From here, we're able to put a prompt in and change this highlighted area to something like an apple. And just like that, I'm holding an apple instead of the rabbit. And I know it's not perfect. You can generate again if you're hoping to get another series of images. You can see some of these other ones are pretty far off. But I mean, the applications for this are endless. You can change whatever part of the image you prefer. Coming back to our original image, notice how there is white space on the left and the right of our picture because it doesn't match the aspect ratio that we selected in the beginning. We can fix this pretty easily with the Magic Expand Magic Studio tool. When we click on this, we're gonna have the option to select a size that we wanna expand it to. Since we have a 16 by nine image, uh, notice how the blue outline is going over our entire design window now, and we'll click the button to expand it. Nice. So Canva filled in the white space on the left and right side of our image using AI. In addition to the Magic Studio tools, there are a couple of applications within Canva that I use quite a bit as well. The first, is mockups. They give you a huge library of mockups to use, and with your image selected, you just have to click on any of these 
and it takes your design and puts it directly onto the mock-up. On the left panel here, you have the ability to change the size and apply it to your image. This works for both picture and video. For example, with our picture here highlighted, if I click the video of the laptop opening, it'll take a few seconds and we're gonna have a video of the laptop opening with us holding the apple. Amazing. The next application that I use all the time is the built-in image upscaler. So if you have a blurry image like this Canva logo, you can go to edit image, go to the bottom and select image upscaler. And it's gonna give you an option to upscale 2X, 3X, 4X, or 8X. So in this case, let's go ahead and just do 8X. It's going to transform our blurry image into a perfectly crisp and clear image using AI. On the left panel, you can see the before and after. We're gonna go ahead and click replace. And you can see we went from an extremely blurry image to a crystal clear Canva logo. Last but not least, we have Magic Media. And this allows you to generate images, graphics, or even videos based on a prompt that you can easily add to your design. Imagine we're creating a thumbnail for a YouTube video. The first thing I'm gonna do is edit our image and remove the background. And then I'm gonna come back over to our magic media and let's generate a background for this image. So let's do something like a blue cloudy sky. Okay, great. This one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into Canva and then make it as big as the background. We're going to layer it to the back. Awesome. So now we're kind of floating in the sky here, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So let's go over to the graphics section and make ourselves a jetpack. So realistic jetpack with flames. Sweet, so this one looks really good. Uh, to me, it kind of just looks like it's upside down. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate it. And then I'm going to send this image a layer back and move it so that we can kind of see it. Amazing. I know this isn't the perfect example, but this is the beauty of Canva. You can do all of your designing all in one spot. And I know that they have an extensive library of pre-created elements and assets, but now you can even just type in a prompt to create whatever background, whatever picture, video, or graphic like our jetpack that you need. Over the past year or so, Canva has really become my one-stop shop for everything I do design-wise. The new tools and applications that they have and integrate with save me hours and hours a week and I hope this video allows you to do the same. Let me know in the comments how you're using Canva, subscribe for more, and as always, thank you so much for watching.